and uh, uh, i think over to arun you can take forward the other uh, discussion yeah uh, satish uh, can you briefly mention it once again i forgot to start recording just briefly mention please <laughs> okay no i was just uh, mentioning uh, baf uh, we have a solution team so consist of five members each gc member is taking care of each uh, vertical like energy water safety and security municipal affairs and legal and policy these are the five verticals broadly we are working with five member team and uh, today's uh, discussion or q and a is based on this all this uh, technical and legal aspect of it and nothing to do with uh, no uh, uh, the new member join and you want to do have a orientation on how to use it what are, what, what about baf so majority of the members today here is are already they know about baf so we are not going to cover that we are only going to cover about this five topics uh, any any uh, what is the development happened last uh, several months and what we plan to do on policy how it is what all policy we are working on it what all uh, issues on water uh, we are working what is the latest uh, policy update on energy ev all this we are going to talk i uh, think arun will uh, take forward this uh, thing and over to arun yeah thank you satish uh, warm welcome to all of you this is arun kumar i am a member of the governing council before i get started i am requesting our president uh, vikram rai uh, who is also present amongst us to address us uh, baf president vikram rai please thanks uh, arun you already mentioned you have a packed schedule so i don't want to cut into that but i'll just make maybe one quick observation which is leading from the name of the session itself i think there is a <clears throat> many of you in this uh, uh, session uh, might understand kannada but uh, many of you might not as well but i'll just draw your attention to the meaning of the word parihara that is what this uh, session is called parihara is a kannada word for uh, solution right uh, solution to anything is is what we intend to have uh, as the basis for this uh, but broadly the solution to issues as we have seen uh is at least in the apartment community residential community for a lot of these technical issues 75% at least in our opinion is about the right knowledge information uh and clarity right uh, a lot of times lack of that itself is creating challenges problems amongst mc members importantly i think it is important that uh, mc members should possess uh, Uh, a certain fundamental degree of uh, knowledge and uh, awareness about uh, uh, certain technical topics which are of implication to that association so if that is there a lot of sol- problems is i think 75% of it is uh, is at least tackled efficiently so we believe that the parihara format will bring that uh, sense of knowledge uh, and awareness uh, hopefully uh and the rest of the 25% is more in the realm of call to action and there also we have seen that in majority of the cases where the problem is similar and common between multiple uh, associations uh, at least for us at baf level we have been successful to bring those commonalities together and negotiate solutions uh, uh, as a batch right so that will also happen uh, together so i wish uh, this uh, session's success uh, uh, and i hope uh, i think i i have one call to action to everybody uh, whoever is participating please also do join in uh, potentially if you are interested as volunteers i'm sure arun and team will welcome participation of people who can join in as well because at the end of the day it's not just one or two people who can take up each of these topics uh, uh, it requires a, a sort of lot of collective efforts as well so yeah uh, welcome to everybody to join forces as well to become volunteers in any of these topics over to you best of luck and good wishes yeah thank you so much vikram if if you are not driving maybe see you uh, at least for a moment uh, vikram on on video screen okay i uh, i think we comes uh, no. sorry i am driving so i don't want to show you <laughs> show myself to you and get i know we have a Uh, MOU with Bangalore Traffic Police, but that doesn't uh, absolve you from uh, getting ticketed. So. Yeah, on this very <laughs> screen, we can see Bangalore City Police and the safety and security. So I don't want to violate any more than what I have done with you. Uh, <laughs> so, like Vikram mentioned, you know, uh, Parihara indicates solution. 
so we work on uh, so i'm starting so we work on both spaces both short term solutions as well as long term uh, you know short term or break fixes attempting break fixes mm-hmm. with uh, with with uh, other uh, parties whether it's agencies uh, civic agencies government etc filling vacuums filling gaps seeking resolution for immediate short term issues that we have been consistently doing for a far far uh, long time and we also work on long term solutions uh, which is far reaching which is you know game changing makes the city a better place makes our quality of living standard of living uh, better uh through influencing policy changes and in influencing uh, changes in laws so broadly these are two categories but um, so when we are solving we are not solving a stand alone uh, let me remind all of you so each of you are also you know by stepping forward to your respective role you are solving issues pertaining to your own community your own neighborhood and maybe much more so so i put this uh, busy slide uh one is in community support you have a lot of in community resources to solve issues please leverage those which is yourself your fellow mc members former mc members owners tenants uh, and the support team that you have in terms of facility management that's just one full category which resolves many many cases for you but apart from that you know the civic agencies the government are also there most of the time at the doorstep you know we they i'm sure there are some frustrations but you know they are available and there are call centers there are websites etc many of them are are working today by much better than before uh then of course you know the uh, uh the root of the politicians etc is also uh, usually accessible uh, and we have also made sure that you know we are influencing them so that you know uh they reach out to public and you know they re- respond to public uh, uh questions issues etc but apart from that within bath itself you know we uh, you know we support our members in a variety of formats one of them is the self help tools within that we have got a bath connect app which is a mobile app we have the uh, youtube channel with a variety of resource videos uh, in that uh we have a website with uh, white papers knowledge papers case studies uh and uh, you know uh, and much more on this uh and of course we have the bath cluster whatsapp groups which constantly you know is 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 uh, enriched by various advisories communication information from the bath governing council as well as from the uh bath cluster leadership also so these are readily accessible to managing committee members or the representatives of the respective apartment complexes uh when i use the term apartment complexes we have many layout association many villa associations also just please keep that as an interchangeable word um, and when i use bangalore we are not just looking at bangalore we are looking at greater bangalore where many of our members are present you know far and wide uh in terms of communities community whatsapp group you uh, many of you will be members of the bath cluster whatsapp groups also which is the representation of your geographical locality and we have many focus groups i have listed some of them uh, uh, solid waste management hasiru rooftop solar electric vehicles and we have a rich vendor database also where we we can find out you know if we need some specific service we can look up and find the answers and of course the bath leadership is uh, usually ever accessible uh, your cluster group itself comprises of managing committee members from neighborhood apartments it also includes cluster council members uh the cluster secretary the cluster president and uh, the zonal leader also of course the central bas leadership is also uh, accessible i think it's below the slide on the below part of the slide governing council also specifically we are now the solution squad speaking to you no uh i am going to pause here and uh, uh mentioned to you there was a lot more that we had to cover in terms of policy etc but because of the extent of questions you know uh we have received uh, i am going to dive into the 
uh, uh, Q and A itself, so that you know you you uh, you know go back having your issues um, heard and uh, responded to. Uh, otherwise, I would have put a lot more about BAF in between uh, the previous slide and here. So I'm going to go. Uh, Satish, is that okay? Oh. Yes, go ahead. Yeah. So, so I've categorized again these um, Q and A's under the five uh, pillars that we uh, Satish spoke about: uh, municipal affairs, water, energy, uh, legal and policy compliances, uh, legal and policy, and then safety and security. We didn't get any specific question on safety and security uh, uh, pertaining to compliances, which is spanning across mm -hmm. all the verticals. We got some questions. We we'll do that. And then there were some general questions also. We'll address those also. So I'm going to start uh, in this order. Um, so, sorry. Yeah, municipal affair. So, uh, Bijaya is there? Bijaya Jena? Okay, Bijaya, uh, he or she has asked, uh, you know, the they're having a sewage overflow from neighborhood complex what can we do so the yeah, simple yeah. thing that uh, yeah, well, yeah. Okay. so so I'll, I'll attempt to answer so keep a conversation with your neighbors who are causing this uh, on um, Vijaya. Uh, explain the issues you are facing as a consequence of their uh, uh, the the issues that they are creating uh, you see if you can get a remediation plan and, uh, you know, please be a partner to that remediation plan and see through the issue resolution. But however, you know, there may be cases where the neighbors are not supportive. In that case, you will need to escalate the issues. You can raise it in the next ward committee meeting and ask seek solutions. You can also, you know, BBMP is extreme, uh, has been much better responsive than ever before. They have a WhatsApp number in which you can provide the details, location, ward number, uh, give the text of your issue, include pictures if required, and uh, seek a solution. They promptly give you a grievance number and attempt to resolve. Keep keep reiterating the issue until you find a resolution. And uh, if uh, for any reason that is not working, please also complain to the BBMP health inspector on a formal basis in writing also. And talk to your uh, neighborhood apartments cluster level uh, leadership to see what can be done, etc. And if nothing is working out, then you know you can escalate it uh, further. Uh, request your cluster leadership to escalate it to us. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah, it is. Uh, it's a long pending bit uh, complex issue. The thing is, entire there is a village and entire village switch. Uh, it's because of slope. It is coming inside. So, uh, so probably I'll discuss with the cluster leader. Mm. Uh, but uh, the, it's a long pending multi year issue. I'll say uh, it's uh, it's not just one neighbor, but right. entire the way this switch is designed. That's what. Uh, Right. Yeah. Also, I'm sure this issue is not just pertaining to Desai Radiant, but it could be affecting others also. So that cluster grouping, local geography uh, will will help uh, Vijay. Okay. 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 Thank you. Yeah. Arun, can I add a little? Yes, please. Wali ma'am, thank you. Wali uh, ma'am leads please. our municipal affairs uh, pillar uh, at the governing council and resolutions board. Please. Well, and if you can switch on your video, also it will be nice. Uh, well, okay. Uh, just one uh, thing. I want to know whether your apartment is situated in a Panchayat area or BBMP area. It's in BBMP. Uh... Yours is in BBMP. But, but that village, where, where does it fall? Uh, no, actually, like it is, it was uh, previously, uh, it was kind of a village and then the uh, builder acquired certain land and those houses uh, uh, which were there, they are still remaining. The thing is... Can you tell me ward name? It, it is uh, Hagadur ward. Hagadur, huh? okay, okay. So it will come in Mahadevapura, no? Hagadur correct, ward. Correct. 
okay so what you have to do since it is a sewage polluting uh, your place no you just raise it with uh, mahadevapura uh, pollution control board okay uh, okay that uh, saying that the sewage is entering your area because they are in charge of this sewage and all that uh, pollution sewage pollution so raise the matter with them i think they should act okay okay I any think, contact Arun, you have the could... contact no yeah i, I have vidya uh, contact i will uh, connect you, you to vali ma'am uh, for having a conversation if required vijay yeah that will yeah. be great we uh, are okay. thank you okay okay thank you uh, vali ma'am uh, prabhakar your responsibility to remember and drop a text message to you, to me because i'm i'll try and make notes but i can't be sure uh, Okay, I'll go to the next one. Prabhakar from Fern Saroj, are you there, Prabhakar? Okay, Prabhakar is probably not there. He has asked for society guidelines for pet parents and pet walking norms in society's um, common area. Uh, 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 BAF uh, was consulted by BBMP recently. Uh, I think this was June, July, uh, August. Again, Bali Ma'am was uh, involved. Uh, and uh, they sought uh, BAF support in framing the guidelines. And they have since published the guidelines. And uh, BAF has also prepared a uh, framework guidelines document on the subject. And we issued this, uh, both of these, through a BAF network-wide communication, which should have come to your clusters also. And the guidelines covers, uh, you know, three broad subjects. One is a community feeders. Um, the RWAs and uh, pet parents also. So, so please take a look at it, uh, Prabhakar. When you get the chance to go through, uh, scroll back to your uh, uh, cluster WhatsApp group. You should find these two advisories. Uh, Arun, can I add to this? Uh, yes, he is there. No, he's not there. The person is not there. Okay, if Prabhakar, if he comes online. Mm. Uh, actually, he, there is a person to contact for all this, uh, which BBMP has tied up. He can contact her and get uh, help. That right, right, right. Yeah. In fact, uh, I think that organization is going door to door also trying to create greater awareness. Uh, yes, yes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I got it, ma'am. Thanks. Uh, hello. It's Flora here. Uh, can can you give the contact number because even uh, I also want some uh, uh, information about this uh, pet parents and uh, the, about the guidelines we newly joined in so um, okay. uh, the contact number can be shared later is it or uh, can we find it? Okay, uh, yeah, just make the... a note, uh, Flora. We we, we I made notes uh, that Flora is interested in this. I will try and get. Uh, you think. I, I'll I'll post in the box. Okay, you can make a note. I'll send it. Okay. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Mahesh is Mahesh there from Satwas Gold Summit? Mahesh. Mahesh has uh, written uh, saying how to get rid of hawkers. Uh, let's please not use such words of get rid of hawkers. We must understand the ground reality of our country um, uh, and uh, uh, anyway, we should approach such issues humanely and focus on addressing the the, the um, consequences of you know such hawkers being present locally, garbage or you know whatever and uh, and uh, try and get the issue addressed. Uh, please work with your ward committee um, uh, to ask for solutions. And of course, the BBMP uh, WhatsApp group is also available. In this case, you can, you know, if if it remains unresolved, you can raise it to executive engineer and chief engineer also. But the most important thing is uh, let's uh, not be aggressive or abusive. Uh, towards uh, these people. Let's use formal methods and, you know, convincing, you know, persuasive measures to resolve the issues. My age is not there, but yeah. 
उमेश इधर मृत्युंजय आयुदय इंडिविजुअली Uh, uh, this is a new apartment complex or an existing apartment complex? No, no, existing one. This is there from last uh, eight years. Okay, so so each of them will have uh, oh, one second only, ma'am. Uh, uh, each of them, uh, each of the individual apartment owners will have their own uh, kata. Uh, you you may choose to organize a camp or you may choose to do it uh, for them, uh, but their uh details will be required there uh, ka uh, kata number existing kata number etc but bali ma'am please go ahead uh. but before that mm-hmm. umesh are you there if umesh is not there i will not address the remaining questions because they are all fairly detailed and complex uh, questions i have discussed with umesh in the past if he is not there then i will not address those so, yeah. then we so, go to the next one No, you please. Uh, you you wanted to say something on E E R C. Ah, E E R C. Yes, E R C. Ah, uh, there is a particular website. No, B B M P E R C. Ah, uh, dot Karnataka dot G O V dot in. You have to log in there, create login ID and password, and this is individually done. Na, you cannot do it for a complex. So each individual flat owner should do it for himself only. so uh, what you do is when you log in you will get the details of your already existing kata okay so uh, that i think sandhya has put it there on the group chat that is the uh, website so you will uh, get uh, i mean uh, alphabetically listed uh, people having i mean uh, uh, in your ward and you have to search with your name now uh, the, that uh, process is quite long if you can give me a ring i can uh, i mean explain this in detail to you sure sure definitely yeah. so thanks for the information yeah just one clarification suresh bhai here see in the mm-hmm. e khata they are asking about the photo of the property is it the property the, the flat photo or the outside the property Ah, uh, you outside the photo. You all the owners should stand. Oh. If there are three owners, all three owners they should stand outside. No, 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 no. I ha huh, okay. Individual owners Then, means in front of the apartment. Yeah, right? in front of the door, front door. Okay. Okay. Your apartment number should be seen, and then you should take the photo. Yeah, no, okay. Did, okay. I did recently. I did my e khata <laughs> recently. I can add okay. here. uh so once uh, after searching your property uh, login into the e khata e rc website login search owner's name you will get the details over there after that you need three uh, documents one is sale deed uh, sorry uh, ec ec is uh, suppose you have registered uh, your property uh, on uh, zero uh, like zero one zero one two thousand fifteen so before one day two till date you need a ec certificate which we have to you have to download from kaveri website okay after downloading it and ec has to be 7 days within 7 days you will uh, have to apply for uh, e khata once you get the, all the details in erc uh, sorry erc website uh, you have to give your ec number over there and then you have to again search it and then it will tell you all the details and again you have to give uh, identify your like e sign through aadhar the property uh, whoever name is mentioned in the sale deed same person's uh, aadhar number has to be match over there and you have to e sign through otp once it is proceed then you have to upload the documents like you know um, uh, photograph uh, fronts uh, like apartment photo in front of the apartment photo that also is fine and uh, that uh, you have to upload and that is a actual process actually once it is done it will go to the verification they Thank have you, also dear. they have also advised that unless there is an urgency don't approach the officials till 31st october exactly. yes yes yeah. there are there, there are three options you can't join for property 
second option is uh, uh, 0, 1, 2000, uh, before 0, 2004, it, the property is registered. There is a different process, mm -hmm. uh, process. You have to go and approach ARO office. And if it is registered after 2004, you can do easily uh, from uh, ERC a website. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, for uh, Marlima, can, can you pause for a moment, please? Uh, Mrityanjay, uh, Jay Aditya, are you able to guide uh, Mrityanjay on the phone? Sorry, it's my name is Kamis. Actually, I've logged in through my uh, son's name. So oh, oh, okay, okay, Kamesh. So, Kamesh, will you be able to guide Mrityanjay? Then I will connect the two of you. Sure, sure, sure. I can guide. Kamesh Mrityanjay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, thanks for the detailed info, Kamesh. Yeah. Sorry? I no, was saying thanks for the detailed information. Yeah, yeah. thank you so much. Yeah, for coming. Uh, Avinash Gurung, are you there? Avinash? Sandhya, you asked for connecting to Kamesh. I will also connect you here. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm here. Av uh, Avinash, yeah. Okay, so is it compulsory for BBMP contractors um, uh, to collect garbage? And uh, the water question I will answer separately. But to to this garbage question, all apartments with more than uh, 100 units must engage in com uh, engage commercial vendors. May not be able to use BBMP, BSWML services. So there's no compulsion to use BBMP contractors only. Okay. I'll come to the water when we talk about water, Avinash. Sure, sure. Thank you. Okay. So, and shall I interpret, please? I'm sorry? Shall I interpret in this uh, uh, garbage issue? I couldn't understand. Hello? Yeah. I couldn't understand this what you're asking. Garbage, gar garbage, garbage, uh, Contractors, huh? you were telling just now. Hmm. All the apartments with more than 100, if it's less than 100 units, whether we we have to compulsory uh, go for uh, BBMP contractors? Uh, what is uh, that? Yeah, see, up to 100, uh, according to the 2020 Act, uh, BBMP uh, is supposed to collect. Okay, more than 100 units, we have to engage a commercial contractor. Bulk weight contractors are there, so we should uh, engage them only. We no, should but not less, than, less than 100, can they go to private contractors? Yeah, if you want, you can go, no problem. Less that than 100, you are welcome Ooh. to go. But uh, that you should make sure that uh, the person you are engaging is uh, disposing the uh, garbage in a proper way. That you should ensure. Otherwise, uh, okay, okay. you can get into problems. Okay, okay. Actually, uh, one one more question. Today, our estate manager received a call from BBMP. Sir, oh, sir, 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 sir uh, we'll see if there's time at the end of the session. We'll come back to okay. any addition. Right, right, right. right. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Uh, Vijay Kumar, are you there? Vijay? Okay. Anyway, I'll read out the question. Uh, trees close to the boundary walls, which is basically trees outside your compound. Some of them are growing uh, uh, big and, you know, coming into your community. What can we do, I think, is the question. Uh, so the uh, uh, solution, uh, Vijay, is... Uh, Speak to the local BBMP office, ask for the forest department to come and trim or cut or uh, whatever, do what whatever is the needful for that tree. Don't take unilateral action because you could be, uh, you could end up with uh, severe penalty punishment. Talk to them and make sure um, uh, the right things are being done. The local BBMP office, you can address uh, this issue too. Vijay? Yeah. Uh uh, Aru, to add to that, we mm. have an app called Namma Bengaluru. Right. So I, I had uh, raised a few requests for uh, trimming down the trees which were uh, on the road, right, which was uh, hindering mm. the uh, view 
for the people who go by two wheelers or you know, vehicles so uh, they uh, they uh, i i had a very good response they did it immediately and uh, rest of the things also was taken care Excellent. around that place it's so, called nama bengaluru app yes okay what else is the service available on that app uh, flora uh, you have lots of uh, services apart from bbmp bestcom many other uh, uh, i have used only bbmp Okay. Uh, even for um, uh, some waste segregation, uh, solid waste segregation, one something is there, mm. uh, and yeah, for the trees and for the stray dogs around, right? So I had used, but uh, for the trees, yes, I got a good response from them. Oh, good to know that, Flora. Thank you so much for sharing that. Uh, from Nagarjuna Primer, both Mr. Ramakrishnan and Ramachandra have raised questions about property taxes. Do we need to pay property tax separately for common area aspects like a swimming pool, gym, clubhouse, etc.? I think the second question says BBMP taxes, but I guess it's the same question. So, uh, Ramakrishnan or Ramachandra, both of you are there? Yes, we are there. Yes, yes, oh, we are okay, there. Okay, okay, lovely, yeah. So, uh, gentlemen, if the super built up area of your individual apartment uh, includes the calculation of the common areas, then you are already paying for them. Uh, yes, uh, that is you're, the you're already paying for them. Uh, th then there is no need for you to pay for uh, separately for that uh, swimming pool, etc. And you, you can verify, establish the... Uh, to a sum total against the uh, the occupation certificate and go and you know have a conversation with the BPMP ARO thing you know they, it is not applicable to you and have a closure with them uh, both of you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, Harsha is there. Harsha. Arsha has just written BBMP related queries. Lots we've answered. Hopefully, one of them is your question. One or more are your questions. You're not there, so we'll move on. So now we go to legal and policy aspects. Um, so three of you, uh, Pramod, uh, Nihar, and Raghunanda. I you know Pramod joined. Nihar, are you there? Raghu, are you there? Raghunandana. Pramod, you are there, right? Yes. Okay. I think you spelt your name wrongly in the form. Probably. Okay. So, I think your question was society. The question said society formation under 1972. Uh, couldn't get the question, but uh, I will answer. These are the three questions. Uh, registration in two, 1972 KOA versus uh, 1959 KCSA. And what are the possible registrations of the association? Who initiates, who maintains, and how many uh, registrations possible? Okay. First is uh, BAF has uh, dwelt uh, deeply into the subject. BAF recommends that apartment complexes should register under KOA 1972 only. I mean, 1972 is our recommendation. And a detailed advisory on uh, the subject was given on uh, 7th July. Uh, it will be there in your cluster WhatsApp group. Please go back, scroll up and uh, look for 1503. You will find the advisory also. Uh, who is responsible? The, the um, builder slash landowner registers the DOD deed of declaration and also bylaws. And this is done at the sub-registrar's office. And that registration creates the entity called your association. The association is mandated to maintain and administer the complex in line with the, uh, the bylaws uh, of the association. This is broadly the response to the questions uh, that were raised. Uh, we are, you know, uh, Satish mentioned what is our something about long term. We are keenly and deeply working on. Um, uh, amending KOA 1972. One is we are recommending that for our members. 
second is we are seeking the government to um, amend the law to bring it to current day uh, so we have raised it at multiple forums with the bureaucracy with the political leadership it was raised in the karnataka assembly also uh, we are still waiting for the uh, solution i'm just giving an example of uh, one of the issues that we want to address is to define a competent authority that can uh, address issues arising in uh, apartment complexes because you know inconsistency in interpretation of this law or lack of um, clarity in the law uh, and you know currently the only option is go to high court uh, go to courts so we don't want that we want you know with this uh, simple dispute resolution mechanism uh, is one of the suggestions that we will have now we are also doing a project where we are see- we will be seeking inputs from a wide variety of uh, uh, and, uh, from the citizens and uh, committee members like you as and when we seek their information please contribute with your inputs and also please uh, yeah, at this time i want to mention many times we seek um, inputs from you also not just that we give advice or information we also seek inputs from you i uh, request you to participate in surveys when you uh, get adequate responses uh, so we look forward to um, uh, your participating interactively with us in terms of various issues way various subjects so that you know we can give get bangalore to be a much better place than it is uh, uh, uh sorry who was that uh, uh, pramod did i address your questions uh yes sir uh, only uh, I, this question was also discussed in previous uh, last week's call also what uh, we are learning is there is been going to be a, a maybe revision or a new law going to come uh uh, uh there are maybe amendment expected in 1972 so shall we wait for that to come in force uh, or do we start process of uh, registration under koo 1972 uh please do not wait uh, see many of us have been waiting for this law to be amended for a long time there is only traction right more traction more recently only do not wait for it uh promote please go and register with the current law you will be in a better position with uh, with a registered society rather than an unregistered society so please go ahead and register is what our bath our our bath recommendation will be okay sir uh, currently we are registered under 1960 okay so that was the question then again we shall we uh, move to 1972 or shall we wait till the new um law comes in place uh, and then move see we are also seeking with the government uh, see one is if koa is amended uh, promote you will continue to remain uh... arun can i answer that rahul yeah yeah arun can i answer that yeah yeah please go so, ahead uh, let let's listen yeah, so... yeah so pramod uh, i am a uh, advocate by profession and uh, we are having this uh, society uber warden phase 2 at sarjapur main road so we are in the process of getting handover from the builder and we are in hurry to register it and everybody knows that 72 under 72 malleshwaram office is not accepting the application no so no that's we... not true no 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 rahul that's not true uh uh the koa 1972 is registered in the sub registrar's office not in the cooperative society is uh, rahul no yeah, but uh, i think the office is in the malleshwaram right? no that is the cooperative societies i am talking about koa is registered at the sub registrar's office rahul i uh, just come in there is a sub registrar office also there in malleshwaram there are our eight That's or nine sub registrar office in bangalore anywhere you can register whether whether you are in different parts of bangalore you can register anywhere the sub register office so maybe you are preferring okay, so, to uh, sub register yeah, yeah. malleshwaram because no no yeah, because he is based in sarjapur he will not come to malleshwaram to register with the sub register malleshwaram no. satish arun that is what i have been told by my uh, you know consultant 
advocate okay so so sir satish you want to continue yeah i just want to so uh, under koa 1972 it is sub register office only there are sub register office uh, in maleshwaram also so like me i am in yelanka i have yelanka uh, sub register office office sub register office i can do there also but i prefer to do in maleshwaram and i have done it so there is no problem uh, if you are in white field you can still do in maleshwaram maybe the advocate is comfortable doing there in maleshwaram you have suggested but it is sub register office only okay the other office in maleshwaram is uh, cooperative society is under act so that is different no but uh, uh, rahul Arun. rahul i am the... based in maleshwaram my yeah, yeah. apartment complex is based in maleshwaram and mm-hmm. our registration registration is in yashwantpur sub register yashwantpur okay so so aaoa can be registered at any of the sub register offices see my my answer is not on the jurisdictional aspect my answer is with respect to that at this point of time they are not accepting the application under 72 right they, they do not rahul can i intervene they yeah, do not yeah, accept please. no ma'am let me everyone not intervene ma'am let everyone not intervene rahul you know let, let's see if you need our inputs on that let's keep that on uh, offline but in terms of our response to pramod please go ahead and register yourself under koa 1972 and the proceed uh, don't wait for the new law to come uh, it may take time uh, you yeah, it, I, it it may be long drawn also we are trying to influence expedite expedite it but uh, that uh, it, it, uh, don't keep it contingent to that um, rahul Thanks. and rahul separately you can speak with me uh, i can give you a, an explanation of what what i am talking about thank you sir okay okay i am going to the next one uh pavan are you there pavan pavan i am here please go ahead yeah yeah pavan you asked about uh, employee security housekeeping minimum wages uh etc uh there are some scenarios where uh, they are employed by the association there are some scenarios where they are appointed by the um, by the contractors which is the uh, facility management agency estate management agency uh, okay. so uh, well, one is we are preparing a draft guideline document for the benefit of all our members uh, and we have sought external legal opinion also we are hoping to publish it soon okay but as a preliminary point please wait until the document is published preliminary point is the association does not have a direct uh, 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 uh how do i put it uh, there there is a specific term you, you don't have a direct ownership uh, or responsibility on that uh, so so please wait for the specific guidance document uh, likely to come within the next two weeks so uh, pavan sure sure so we have around 185 staff here okay and none of them are directly employed with uh, elita promenade okay everything is through agencies okay understood it is basically to minimize our exposure to compliances and uh, makes know, sense it makes sense out. please wait for this and i have mentioned to you also please remind us if not published by then within the next two weeks i don't sure. just want to come in before yes, uh, any clarity come see there are two scenarios one is that you are giving to some agency to maintain it or do it so they are commercial organization definitely they have to go for compliance but you are employing directly uh, you are not a commercial entity either on shop and establishment act or uh, industrial act this is proven by the court and high court rulings are there against the apartment so we are free to employ okay so we'll give the detailed guidelines shortly but uh, high court order is clear saying that apartment association is a self help group and uh, uh, it is not commercially or industrially act is uh, responsible for this so we'll come back to you on this uh, clarity and uh, note detail note so 
<laughs> I mean to say that if you have an association, you can employ it directly and PF ESI is not applicable. That I make it clear here, it's not applicable if you employ it directly because it is proven in the court, high court and government of Karnataka has not gone to the Supreme Court. Yeah, this is only one year, two year story. So it is stands, uh, the court order stands uh, still saying that uh, uh, it is not legally bound by to pay ESI PFI if you employ directly by association. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh -huh. Our main concern is when we pay a certain amount to the agency, whether the agency is going ahead and being compliant with their employees or not, and if they are not, then what is our exposure in this situation? That's no, my they opinion. have to go for uh, compliance because they are commercial entity. That is very clear. If they are not gone, you will be in trouble because you are the principal employer in this case because you are employed them through them. So you have to insist so while, uh, while paying their bills or clearing their bills, you have to ensure that PFI, PF and ESI is paid. Then only you pay to the vendor. Yes. So, so Pawan, Pawan yeah. pay the next month's bill only upon production of records of the previous month's compliance, uh, Pawan. Uh, Arun and Satish, uh, this is Subhash here. Can I just uh, uh, add to what is being said? Okay. Uh, see, I think this is Pawan, right? So, yeah. uh, one of the ways in which to, this is from Subhash, from Yalanka and Badanapura. Uh, see, uh, if you have engaged a facility management vendor, every month we are making the payment before the 10th of every month for the previous month. Correct. Okay. And then you make the payment, and then the facility management vendor has to deduct the statutory deductions like uh, PF, ESI, uh, ensure minimum wages, and then they have to remit both PF and ESI before the 15th of the same month. So how can the association become sure about that is next month, as soon as they remit the PF and ESI, you can ask them to provide them the copy of the chalan which they use to remit PF, copy of the chalan which they used to use to pay the ESI premium. And that you can keep it as mandatory every month for the facility management to provide it to the association. Copy of the PF chalan remitted for all the members, copy of the ESI premium paid to all the staff whom they're engaging for our apartment. That will give you the check on whether they are complying with these statutory norms or not. Correct. So this is our procedure for all uh, agencies that we have employed. We certainly do that. My only concern is about the calculation of this PF and ESI. Okay. So the calculation of ESI, PF and ESI, what you have to do is you have to check whether any of the employees who are engaged by the vendor, whether their salary is exceeding, the gross salary is exceeding rupees 21,000 per month. If it is not exceeding 21,000, ESI is applicable. There is no option, no discretion. 21,000 rupees per month. That is number one. PF, the deduction amount varies according to their basic pay. Up to 15,000, there is a particular rate. Beyond 15,000, there is another rate. So uh, that is why the best thing to do is ask them to do the share the chalan for the PF. So, so we get that. We get the ECR. Yeah. So in the facility management vendor side, they will have an HR and a compliance team, which is supposed to deduct PF according to the slabs and also remit it according to the slab. So if they have done that, the association does not have any liability. Okay, they have done. Our only thing is to only make sure was that they submit to us every month. That's is the amount right or not? That's what that was my only concern. They are they giving you a printed statement which shows how much has been deducted? Yes, ECR is given. Detail. Then you do not have to worry about it. Okay, sure. Yeah, it is their responsibility to calculate it correctly and remit it correctly. Yes, it okay. is our responsibility to ensure that we pay the facility management vendor before the 10th because for them the cutoff date is 15th. Okay, yeah. Yeah, uh, thank sorry, you. Arun. Thank uh, you. Thanks, uh, Satish.
थैंक यू सुभाष डेस्मंड आई थे डेस्मंड यस यस आम हिया ओके हैंडलिंग मल्टीपल चेंजिंग टेनेंट्स इन रेंटेड आउट अपार्टमेंट वन इज Uh, what exactly is the question uh, when you say that so, so what we are finding is that the nature of the tenancy is changing where before we had long term tenants hmm. now we are finding that you know there are multiple tenants coming who are working in the tech parks around and they keep changing hmm so our issue is becoming about you know ensuring that we get their names and you know security and also we do ensure that we have a record of all the names it is becoming difficult to track this because sometimes they're changing very fast so just some guidelines on that the problem is the bylaws were written much before this sort of phenomena happened right so yeah. so we we respect to when the bylaws were written you can pass your re relevant general body resolution mandating a few new measures uh, from uh, based on your current uh, Yes, state yes, of evolution. Yeah, 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 we've done that. Yeah, yeah, and put in place move in more procedures. Put in place know your tenant procedure, and uh, and uh, please have a conversation with uh, such uh, owner to impress upon them the need to stay compliant. Uh, we you don't want to end up with a situation where the wrong set of people are living in your apartment complex. Uh, Correct. Definitely. Correct. Yeah. In the in the name of IT, in the name of uh, uh, you know IT industry, etc. You shouldn't end up having uh, you yourself as the association or resident shouldn't face adverse consequences. Uh, Correct. That's also been been our concern. Yeah. Right. Right. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Vinesh, are you there? Vinesh. Yeah, I'm there. Yeah, hi, Vinesh. You asked, is there a law or a statement which states um, uh, corpus fund uh, is to be used uh, only for specific purpose? The usage has to be defined as part of the bylaws, uh, Vinesh. If it is not there, it may be a good idea to convene a special general body meeting and uh, document how and when. uh the corpus can be drawn from how you can use it what are the do's and don'ts that you know you don't end up uh misusing the fund you don't use it for short term wh whatever the case may be and uh, specifically on usage also normally at least in my community we have put in place a practice saying for each spend of uh, from the corpus fund we need to seek the general body approval uh, and uh, for example if a pump to replace then on an emergency basis at least in the next general body meeting we have to seek a post factor but no one can go ahead and you know buy a new lift or a replace a lift without the general body prior approval or do a painting without general body prior approval and okay. just uh, for good order i put you know correction should be preferably on a pro rata basis or a per square foot or a share of one divided interest basis sir vinesh yeah sure thing so there are questions regarding uh, corpus fund should not be used for any painting it should be used only for emergency purposes or else it should be named something else so that's why this question came up yeah thank so, you so much so, yeah yeah okay yeah i'll just just want to come in see there are different principles uh, we follow but majority of the bylaws what i seen in the apartment community through my experience is there are three categories one is the corpus as with the name says is that whenever we say emergency and other things only but the sinking fund is the concept uh, people uh, use it and that fund that will be utilized for all these activities okay short term activities the corpus is corpus when uh, like you know it's a capital park somewhere so you are not supposed to touch so this is a, this i think you should discuss with your chartered account then the difference between corpus and the sinking fund so uh, and there is a maintenance fund maintenance a regular basis what you do maintain which you collect uh, square feet basis and everything so these are three distinctive uh, purpose this is used and most of the majority of the uh, koa 1972 act uh, 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 registered uh, apartment have this clarity in their bylaw if is not there you have to talk to your uh, 
uh, chartered accountant and try to include it uh, in the bylaw. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. We are at 7.58. We still have a few more to go. Uh, M. Gangadhar, are you there? Gangadhar? No. He's just mentioned Reda. Uh, Suresh, uh, are you there? You were there at the beginning, uh, Suresh. Suresh? Suresh had asked us, uh, he was there at the beginning of the conversation. The current I am CS there, I am there. I am there. Yes, Suresh, yeah. 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 So, so um, there were two specific questions on, um, uh, you know, influencing policy. One is with the GSC council to uh, enhance the limit of 7,500 per square feet upward. The other is um, extend rebate for... Uh, measures like water conservation. Uh, Suresh, we are constantly in uh, pursuit of, of every available opportunity. We are trying to impress upon both the uh, GSC Council through a variety of sources. Uh, I know you mentioned about uh, lobbying at Delhi, etc. But we are using, uh, with our resource limitation, we are using whatever available opportunities, including, you know, I, I remember Ravi uh, Swaminathan uh, is on the call. We've met some uh, GSC uh, senior officials also in Shoba Altia, not too far back. So we're trying all possible ways um, to do both of these things and not just water conservation, but a variety of sustainable practices. We want credits and, you know, which is uh, effectively... Uh, giving us back tax money or discount on tax, etc. That is something that we are constantly doing, uh, uh, Suresh, point number okay. one and three. And point okay. number two uh, uh, is, a can we liaise with major waterways, uh, for, with B B BMP for waterways? It's a very valuable suggestion. We're going to take this forward. Yeah. And uh, we request you to take it forward at your Yelanka cluster level and uh, your ward level also, uh, uh, Suresh. And uh, since BWSSB will be yeah. coming with Sage Pai to Yelanka area, it may be a good idea to impress upon them. We will also yeah. do our bit on that, uh, Suresh. Yeah, certainly we'll do that. Yeah. Thank you so much, Suresh. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to come in here, uh, Arun. Yes. Can you go back? Okay, uh, just want to update. No, we are constantly meeting, as Sarun said. But uh, yeah. I, uh, Ravi sir is here, uh, ex uh, Yelanga president. Vikram, myself, all these people have met. Krishna Bhaira Gowda, who is the revenue minister in uh, Yelanka, uh, in Karnataka. Yeah. He's also part of the, uh, the GST council representing Karnataka. And we had a detailed discussion twice uh, last year and before that also. And uh, he is very clear based on the inflation, his price should go. And he has already given a letter to the council. Definitely, what other states not pushing this subject is the uh, problem now uh, to bring this to, to priority to take a decision and discussion. Okay, first you have to discuss means the priority should be there from the other state also. From the yeah. as far as Karnataka is concerned, as BAF is concerned, Krishna Bhaira Gowda has returned to the GST council, which he is the member. And uh, telling that, forget about 7,500 or 10,000. We are asking for 15,000 in the letter or the petition. But he said, why you want to do that way? Let us inflation every year growing. You link that uh, with the GST council. So there's no calculation required. The officials every year keep on changing, uh, increasing it based on the inflation. Yeah. I think okay. that's a good suggestion from the minister. But uh, it is yet to come up for the discussion. Okay. Can I add one more point to that, Satish? I yeah, think yeah. I have reasonable information to suggest that this issue has also been referred to a group of ministers on real estate matters. I think it has got clubbed under that because there are a lot of GST matters on commercial real estate which is being discussed. They have constituted a group of ministers. So all GST uh, state representatives who form the GST council, either finance ministers, revenue ministers or whatever, whoever is a representative, there's a group of five ministers who are re reviewing exclusively the matters on real estate. I think uh, this uh, issue of uh, 
uh, GST for maintenance has been clubbed under that. So there will be some some clarity and resolution soon on that. Yeah, thank you, Vikram and Satish. Okay, Compliant, thank you. Yeah, compliances. Uh, so, Venkatesh Raju, are you there? Pandurang Naik, are you there? So, they have asked about uh, renewal of CFO and fire department renewal. Uh, are you there, either of you? So, there is a standard methodology for renewal. Uh, so, I have provided that in the sheet. Yeah, yeah, sir. Tell me, sir. Yeah, Venkatesh Raju. So, you are saying sir. ASPCB renewal of SCP. What is the question? Sir, we already uploaded the necessary document online. Okay. So, concerned uh, 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 of a KSP officer track Vijayanagar, they hmm. told to provide the two uh, requirement, uh, which is not uh, feasible as far as we, I am concerned. They are asking environmental statement and the Borwell NOC. These two I tried with many agencies who can help on this, uh, but nobody were uh, aware of this, these two things. Okay. And uh, finally, I came to know uh, just to harass or uh, uh, for us to make a compel to pay the bribe, then asking all sorts of these un unwanted uh, 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 complaints. Okay. Because for uh, from 10 years, uh, we have been operating uh, that the renewal initially it was renewed for 10 years. Now the renewal they are giving for another 10 years at the rate of 20,000 uh, per year. So okay. totally the fees works out for, to be around 2 lakhs. Okay. Our uh, agency who is taking care of this STV maintenance, uh, he is asking us to, uh, he is telling that the concerned officer is asking a bribe of 2.5 lakh. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Hmm. So how uh, BF can help us, help me so, on this, sir? So uh, we, we have a system called KYCS, uh, Mr. Raju. Um, so I request you to log the issue under that category. So uh, I'll provide you the link. And yes. in the next available opportunity, we will take it up once again with KSPCB. So yes, they have sir. a long list of pendencies. Uh, mm. Please constantly keep writing to them saying, you know, we are still awaiting this. And mm. uh, maybe you should mention that we don't have copies of, uh, formally write to them that we don't have copies. If you have... Please dig out from your record and share it with us. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. That will do it. Okay. And, uh, uh -huh. you know, I will, please be in touch with me. I'll uh, provide you that link. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, 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 Mr. Uh, uh -huh. Arun, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Yes. Thank you. Uh, Ramchandra, are you there? Shobha Indra Prasad. Okay, he is asked about lift license renewal. Uh, see, usually the builder they get the ten year lift license, uh, and after that the renewal responsibility belongs to the association. The cost is rupees two thousand five hundred for lift, and it is usually issued for the next five years. I'm telling you, I'm doing the meter. Yeah, Bangalore Apartment Federation, my president. Uh, Mr. Tyagraj, and kindly mute your voice. Uh, Flora, now I'm back to you. Fire renewal process followed by other members. Irrespective of other members, everyone universally have to apply online at this Karnataka State Fire and Emergency Services website. Uh, Flora, are you okay. there? Yes, yes, I'm there. Yeah, this is Hello. the uh, portal. Go through okay. it. Uh, it will expect some previous documents also. Keep them handy and uh, okay. upload them. And okay. uh, it should come through smoothly. Uh, we have had issues of uh, some uh, scattered cases of uh, them not renewing on a timely basis. Uh, okay. Such issues, uh, please escalate to back through the same KYCS that I was talking about with Mr. Venkatesh Raju a moment back. Any yes. pendencies with the government agencies for a long term uh, beyond the due uh, date, please bring it up to our attention. We are constantly meeting these officials. 
in fact okay. uh, fire authorities we are meeting tomorrow uh, okay. so we will we will uh, we, we are able to take up escalation matters but the application responsibility is yours flora yes uh, one thing is uh, for anything related to this fire shall i contact you arun can i contact you or uh, what, what is the subject uh, yeah yes. you can contact uh, me but what is the subject uh, it is about the same fire uh, um, noc cc renewal okay please please so, get uh, we haven't applied yet um, and i think uh, uh, there might be a penalty because we haven't uh, renewed it for some uh, for few years i think okay so uh, if if we have any if we are stuck somewhere uh, the point of contact Uh, so you can reach out to me. I may redirect you to someone else. For okay. example, Mr. Ram Chandra or whoever. Yeah. Okay. I just want to come in here. One point. Uh, see, the rule was uh, before was uh, fifteen fifteen uh, uh, meter uh, meters. Now is twenty one meters. So some of the apartment is not applicable to be renewed this license. So you have to go a little bit technical. What is your height of the building and other things? uh this uh, changes have happened last year uh and uh, again uh, notified this year uh, so we have to see that you know how where you all fit in and uh, so uh, the definition of the high rise building has changed now satish that is exactly a question n tyagarajan has asked and it's there on the next uh, page uh, which has come up uh, he has asked his the community is now 15 meters no longer uh, uh you know in that uh, in the category where it requires uh, certification what you need to do tyagarajan is there i can see tyagarajan a302 uh vijay jena is there pandurang naik is there yes i am there yeah so tyagarajan to your question uh, please formally write uh, we, we don't know if there is a form for this but uh, you can uh, you may please uh, write to ksfps the relevant office attach the notification uh, and uh, explain your case and uh, ask for exemption uh, going forward from compliance expectations okay. but having said that please continue to remain safe and uh, uh, secure having put in all the hard work in the past uh, don't give away those um, those measures that uh, you had put in place for your community okay okay and to bijay and uh, pandurang uh the ksfps site web portal is mentioned here uh, ksfps.karnataka.gov.in slash english so we go to energy there is very little uh, questions on this so, uh, ankit are you there ankit ankit yes i am there yes yeah you ask for tried and uh, tested uh, rooftop installation the yes. uh, bank has been a great promoter uh, of rooftop uh, solar uh, installation since 2018 many communities have installed so uh, so rooftop solar work it reduces the cost of the current cost and it the investment recovers and it, uh, the recovery will depend on now uh, uh on the solution that you are implementing the size of the installation uh, a variety of things uh and the bas has uh, in its vendor database multiple rooftop solar vendors uh, you can look at and talk to them and uh, have an assessment done and ask them to give you quotations and then uh understand uh but we are happy that some resources are available on the bas website also on the rooftop solar uh, subject uh, and I, uh, and uh, i had presented on the rooftop solar to bbmp and bangalore climate action change i'm happy to share that also please reach out to me ankit uh, and also that can you just tell the top 3 or from that resources no i will not def define who is the top 3 for you uh, that's not we are not in that business uh, ankit it's not Or, can you tell me like how how old are they like in doing this business means in that way we can reach out so see what we what is the question that so that we not face any issue of inexperience mm. 
that is the thing that is why we are asking tried and tested so they might have uh, came through so many question and then that is why that is say said tried and tested so uh, arun there is a back polar no yeah so he can join that group yeah there is a there is a focus group also on solar uh, okay uh, ankit you 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 are welcome to join that and shoot your sure. questions sure, uh, sure. but uh, i am not sure someone will say x vendor is better than y uh, at best someone can say that we have had some bad experiences vendor but uh, we yeah, otherwise it will be an apples to oranges comparison uh, yeah okay okay uh, i just want to come in ankit uh, uh, for the information we, we, our website we, have a lot of yeah we are at 814 right now a lot of things to be covered but yeah, this, this, this is important this is, this is important because see the, the since you are told you don't know the how it is evolved see it is evolved last 8 9 years and now we have a situation where any solar uh, installation central government is giving per uh, kilowatt 18000 rupees subsidy this is a new from la last year okay i mean this okay. year maybe last 8 9 months so it's a big opportunity now to do it and now they are also listed in the uh, prime minister uh, that uh, yojana no surya uh, surya gar yeah surya gar uh, was saying who are the mnre approved vendors okay so that vendor is not just evaluated and just anybody can do it for subsidy point of view tomorrow after giving subsidy the vendor is vanishes then it's a loss for the consumer so they had protected that see we had multiple number of occasion we met the um, uh, joint secretary mnre in bangalore and we had a online meeting also all this is safeguard is taken and some of the suggestion from bab is accepted now is in that example i'm telling you 2018 there are only few vendors and uh, they used to install one year warranty they used to give and some of the thing is as you said no not available after second year or third year so maintenance is a issue so now as because of baf effort like you know in my apartment i can say 5 years they are responsible for uh, service and sla is signed the same thing suggestion we are given to bangalore apartment federation is given to central government and now it's a law in the sense if you get a subsidy next 5 years this vendor has to maintain it every 3 months he has to come and visit your place and uh, do the service or uh, take mention about what is the status of this solar so a lot of things have changed now and definitely government of india also pitched in since they are giving subsidy they want to ensure that this system works for long and in fact for them it is 25 years but still we don't know whether 25 years we will last in the apartment but uh, at least they are ensure that five year maintenance this vendor supposed to do okay that is part of his cost so you can reach out to our uh, website knowledge thing lot of things are there and uh, anything is there we can reach out to our team uh, so as anything it depends on the size of society whatever you said nothing nothing i think 10 kilowatt and above any size up oh. to 10 kilowatt is a different structure of uh, uh, for the subsidy but uh, mostly it is 10 kilowatt and above uh, up to i think uh, 500 uh, uh, kilowatt you will get a subsidy of 18000 rupees from uh, one apartment Uh, 18000 means suppose you are installing a 100 uh, kilowatt 18 lakhs is a subsidy it means that if you are installing otherwise you, you would have spent some uh, 30 lakhs uh, or oh, no, sorry uh, about 50 lakhs now 18% reduction means about 36 lakhs so that much uh, only the roi you have to calculate right because 18 18 lakhs you got it up front from the government of uh, india so it's a win win for now uh, roi can come in 4 years time so your risk of whatever you do is 4 uh, years but that also taken care by the government of india scheme of subsidy where the vendor are shortlisted by them and vendor has taken some uh, you know uh, deposit oh. government of india to ensure that 5 years they'll give service every 3 months they are supposed to come and uh, do it and it's a fantastic system like you know this uh, tabulated in uh, their uh, website and uh, app base and all they cannot just make any you know uh, excuse saying that we are not gone there customer is not there and other things so it okay. is a real, uh, thought of process and uh, we are happy that you no know, baf has put our effort to ensure that you no know, next 5 years uh, the vendor will be taking care of the system sure thank you thank you very much for the information
Yeah. Thank you for Satish for those details. Uh, uh, and uh, Ankit, you also mentioned about uh, grid issues, fluctuations, etc. I yes, hope you sir. maintain downtime issues. Is it specific to your apartment or maybe your neighborhood apartments also are facing this issue? Please take it up with the local leadership or cluster back cluster leadership and uh, try and represent to the local BESCOM office and uh, try seek solutions. Uh, if it remains unresolved, then you know we can intervene with going to the head office also and uh, get solutions. Uh, seek yeah, solution, yeah. Yeah, basically, like many a time, single phase will come into picture and then a fluctuation happens over the TG. So th those those issues are there. Okay. So it's a local issue. Please attempt to resolve it locally. No, not the the local, the, the full layout has the issue. That's what I'm saying. When I say yeah. local, in Kasson and uh, Harli area. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, correct. Yeah, it doesn't affect me in Malayshwaram or Satish in Yelanka. Oh, it yeah, affects yeah. people in Kasson Ali. Yeah. Yeah. That way it is local. Okay. We'll get to water. A um, couple of questions were there. Uh, Saravanan, are you there? Saravanan? Saravanan asked me the same question previously during the AGM also and the WhatsApp. So I've suggested to him to apply uh, to BWSB. Uh, Ankit, you have uh, on the water, you have asked for Kaveri and uh, rainwater harvesting, past involved, etc. We have a white paper. Uh, we had a, a detailed session on water connection application. Uh, were you able to join that? Uh, this was a two, three months back. I think it was June, sorry, not two, three, four months back. No, I was. Not we able. covered that in detail. There is a white paper. Um, I'll remind me, remind me, I will share the white paper to you. It will help you apply for the water connection. Rainwater harvesting, utilizing water, yeah. more for better than uh, metering. Of course, most definitely, those are preemptive measures. And uh, water meter is also a solution. But, you know, if you haven't done water harvesting and utilize and efficiency, uh, me efficiency measures, then you know you are only controlling a you're only dealing with a bigger bill uh, all the time no, but doing this will lead to water conservancy and water sufficiency yeah go ahead yeah for rainwater harvesting we have the harvesting but it's like some capacity is there but the rain is like overwhelming sometime correct so we cannot harvest everything so right now we don't have a refresh bore well thing Hmm. Is is it advisable to do that? And then uh, what else we can do to utilize the groundwater? Because in our uh, basement we have a ground lot of groundwater. Hmm. Can we can we connect some or suggest you you can suggest any firm or someone who who give a better plan like what else we can do for a rainwater harvesting? Because oh. recently we have seen the yield is going down in the borewells and then. Uh, summer is going to come there again uh, okay. with the water issues. So, so, so uh, I have two resources in mind. One is Karnataka State Council for Science and Technology. We'll try and connect them with you. Point number one. And there's another lady uh, who has written a white paper for us on groundwater recharge. I will connect her also to you. Please have a conversation with them to, sure, you right. know, most optimally use this, uh, Ankit. Okay. Okay. And when I just want to come on Kaveri connection, the thing is that we have, uh, when we purchase the flats, owners have given one lakh each to the builder. Hmm. And uh, we don't know where is that money and all, and it's not response. Builder is not responsive enough. Okay. So uh, already people have given enough money and then still we don't have Kaveri connection. Okay. So, Will that help? Can we recover that? Is there any yeah. mean so, use case happened earlier? So on 17th of this month, we've sent out a BAP advisory to the entire BAP network. You would also have received it in your cluster group. Which cluster are you in? Belandur. Uh, huh? Belandur. So you look up at the cluster group. I think it was on 17th. Okay. Uh, please fill that form. 
mention the builder name also in that form and we we will be taking it up sometime soon with the BWSLB chairman now including such builder issues also okay that will be helpful yeah uh, Valli ma'am is here she is uh, mentioned a brief on BWSLB water connection yeah so Ankit this is the if you can take a screenshot of this um, this has the white paper uh, on yeah, new connection. Wally, ma'am, you, in case you are also interested in applying, you can take a screenshot of this. Or I'll but share I, the link with you. I had put it just to test the system. Uh, okay. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Avinash, are you there? You had asked uh, what a question also. I told you I'll come to that. Avinash? Yeah, 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 I'm here. Okay, thank you for patiently waiting. Yeah. No, no. So, so we are at 8.24, uh, so there may be a few more minutes. Uh, in case any of you want to exit, uh, please do because if you have other things. Uh, but before exiting, please remember that, you know, we'll seek your feedback about this session. Please provide your frank inputs. Uh, I'll, we will reach out back to you again as WhatsApp and email seeking your feedback and improvements, etc. And... Uh, uh, please do respond to that. So Avinash is asking how is the water situation. Water situation depends on uh, where you're located. Uh, for example, um, in the core Bangalore uh, areas, I think there is significant uh, sufficient uh, water being available. On the outskirts, there are still challenges. Uh, the Kaveri stage 5 has been promised um, uh, that it will address a lot of uh, water gaps. So hopefully yes. with that, uh, this will be uh, resolved too. Where where are you located, Avinash? Royal Palm? Uh, what, what, what 87? Uh, LBS Nagar, HAL. HAL, okay. okay. Uh, isn't the situation better for you now? Yeah, comparatively after the rains, uh, because obviously Kaveri is providing us with the right. amount of water. Mm. Uh, but the situation is that like, the previous back members stated that uh, the groundwater is drying up and uh, summers are coming in soon. So yeah. I, right now we are still in, in the same stage where we are still purchasing uh, the water tankers. So I just wanted to know if all the other members are going through the same situation or are we just the uh, only apartment here in this ward? So my suggestion is, you know, please write among uh, your WhatsApp cluster group, uh, Avinash. I think it's either, uh, what is it? Uh, which is your cluster? Back so, cluster. Uh, yeah, so uh, I am a new member okay. of the association. This is the last three months, four months we joined in. Are so you part I of the haven't... cluster or not? No, no, I am not. You, you are one of the president, secretary, treasurer? Uh, I am part of one of the members. Okay, okay. Yes. Then I, I think you should ask one of your colleagues uh, who is uh, part of the cluster group to write mm -hmm. about this and see, you know, if okay. anyone else is facing this issue. Okay. And, and um, collaborate Avinash, and try and get the yeah. Arun, I think Avinash, uh, Royal Palm is uh, coming, uh, is it in North Bangalore or this no, is no. the other one? HAL Airport. Oh, HAL. Sorry. Just to add that, you see, these water tanker suppliers uh, have a kind of a cartel or, you know, territorial, this thing. So, mm -hmm. one person who has a exclusivity on a territory will not venture into somebody else's territory. Uh, mm -hmm. We have had the experience of that and that leads to certain other situations. Not very palatable for us, just to, to highlight this. Yeah, thanks. Okay. So. Okay, next we move from uh, water to general issues. Hmm. So, someone, Vin, Vishnu, are you there? Uh, yes, sir, I am. Yeah, yeah. Good evening. So, you asked a question about scope of work, roles and responsibility of each department. So, I wasn't sure whether you looked at BAF and departments within BAF or organizations within BAF. But from a BAF perspective, so we, we have clearly defined roles and responsibilities uh, among the leadership. There is a cluster council, there is an executive council, there is a governing council. And the names and phone numbers of each members of that is available 
the BAS Connect app. Do you have the app, uh, Vishnu? Yes, sir. I, I, my questions were not referring to BAF. Yeah, I have yeah. the details of uh, the BAF. Uh, I, I'll come to your question then. Questions yeah. for the benefit of everyone else. There is a BAF website also, www.bas.org.in. That uh, portal also has a variety of resources. Many of the subjects like solar, etc. we spoke about. But apart from that, it has the organization structure and all the members. Um, uh, all the... Uh, member names also and uh, the uh, the council representatives also and of course we have the cluster whatsapp group uh, which in which there is the cluster president also cluster secretary cluster members donor leader and i think the membership coordinator is also there um, their phone numbers are all listed in the uh, description and in terms of authorities i think that's your question vishnu uh, progressively, we are updating on these systems, the uh, various agencies, whether it is best form, BWSSB, etc. Progressively, these will become part of our uh, uh, systems only, Connect app and uh, website also. So you can click and you will probably be, be able to see some traffic police, uh, some um, best form you may be able to see. Uh, but progressively, it will be more enriched with more information. But until then, you please access the Best Farm website or BWSSB website for information. Uh, sure, Arun. I, I will just add a few points. Uh, probably that will help you uh, understand my requirements. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I serve as an executive committee member for the uh, Surya City Apartments in uh, Chandapura. Right. So it's a Karnataka Housing Board uh, uh, is a builder. Yeah, I remember. Uh, uh, yeah. enrolling you uh, as a BAF member, right? Correct, correct. So we just recently joined in. So I'm very new and this is my second uh, session with BAF. Okay. So it's a very good initiative. Uh, last week I was there for the induction program as well. So, right. Uh, our society is, uh, so in our community, we have got about uh, uh, eight societies, uh, six blocks, seven blocks total uh, and the parent uh, society. All of us are under the uh, KSRA 1960. Yeah, we are yet to move to uh, the 1972 one. So we have a child, many challenges. One, we are not under the jurisdiction of uh, BBMP. So everything has to go through uh, Chandapura uh, Purasabha. And uh, we, I am having a tough time connecting to any of those people uh, how to get certain things done. So uh, it, it is basically where I am trying to reinvent the wheel kind of thing. Hmm. So navigating any of the uh, you know administrative complexities is like very difficult for me. Hmm. Uh, as far as the historical uh, things goes on, I I understand that KHP had handed over the uh, documents or they, all these things has been handed over to the association. Can, can you come to the question? Uh, because yeah, we're... yeah. So so formally, what I'm saying is like we are like uh, we don't have any documents about the society or the layout. The khata is not available. It is still you know, not handed over to the Purasabha. So we have a lot of challenges that way. So I I would want to understand like you know even even for example, Bescom uh, when you have a problem with the transformer, they say that they don't have a handover. And we don't have a copy of that handover. So we've been approaching KHB, but KHB, the whatever document has been given, does not have a signatory of a best cop. I mean, those are the kind of challenges we are having. So to, to approach any of the authorities, be it the best cop, the BW, BW, BWSSB, uh, or any forest department, we are having all those challenges in getting the uh, documentation. Hmm. Fire department, NOC, we do not have any of the original ones. Even for renewal, hmm. they asked us to uh, get that. So... Uh, fire safety uh, uh, equipments, we recently got it uh, completely revamped. And but hence the question, and hence the question, uh, Vishnu. Yeah. And hence, what's your question? So I, I need as a, as a contacts to all these departments, how we can proceed with it. Right. That's, that was uh -huh. my challenge. So, so, so uh, Vishnu, you are part of the electronic city cluster, uh, yes. right? Yes. Okay. Now, it is filled with uh, members who are having similar... Uh, questions and challenges and each of them have dealt with it in some form or the other or it is remaining pending my suggestion to you is i think deepak is there right as one of the leaders uh, uh, yes deepak, yes right I have seen messages okay from please, please have a conversation with deepak also if you have not yet had okay uh, talk to him and explain the issues of course deepak can he's part of the executive council also and he knows me also and uh, we can try and see what else we can do, but to see if any immediate fixes are immediately uh, accessible to you, Vishnu, through Deepak and other members of the Electronic City WhatsApp group. 
Uh, sure, Arun. I've been interacting with Mr. Raman. Uh, he's the president. Uh, Raman is also a great resource. Yeah. Yes, yes. He's been very helpful. Hmm. Uh, so I, I will definitely be in, in touch with Deepak and uh, Mr. Raman also. Yeah, yeah. See, the good news is that Radhika is also there. Raman is there and Deepak is there. They, they are all, all seasoned leaders in the BAF uh, leadership group. Uh, okay, Arun. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Okay, escalations, you can please I'll request them for our support, solutions for support also. Okay? Sure, sir. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Bali, ma'am, you wanted to say something additionally? No, no. Uh, what I meant was, uh, what I wanted to say, that if he is looking to see what all documents he has to get from KHB, then it is better to consult one property lawyer and take his help. In fact, I think in BAF also, we have a list of documents which you need to collect. We can pass it to you. Great. Thanks, Solima. Sure, ma'am. I would uh, need that document. Thank you. Okay. Uh, okay. Sajjan, Mrityanjai, Rahul, Vijay Kumar, Janardhan, all of you are there or some of you are there? Okay, uh, this is, yeah, this is the, who, who's this? Sajjan, yeah. Sajjan, yeah. Yeah, so this is, uh, this is dealing with intra-community uh, issues. Uh, when a resident or owner does not pay uh, issues within the apartment complexes, issues among uh, neighbors, among between owners, higher floor, lower floor, ground floor, uh, how to address uh, threats to the society or building, pigeon droppings, uh, people keeping pots and balconies, etc., falling now and then, you know, risks associated with that, BBMP guidelines, etc. So these are the kind of questions that have been asked. So we normally, what we suggest is, um, I forgot to mention point number nine, but uh, have conversation among your community and impress upon them for the on the issues others are facing as a uh, as a consequence of issues created by specific apartment uh, residents or uh, members. Uh, please periodically publish, create documents, create the best practices, discuss that in the general body, seek their approval, and then you know keep publishing this on a periodic basis. It helps. It may or may not resolve. Uh, Fully, but at least some conscientious uh, uh, residents will start, uh, you know, improving. <laughs> and uh, pigeon menace uh, in common areas, please uh, try and install nets where required, spikes in the resting places. Uh, again, again, you know, discourage people from feeding. I'm, I'm sure that you've tried it also. Keep reiterating that message and, you know, mention that it is a health hazard also. Uh, uh, for example, on the maintenance issues, please formally send notices saying maintenance is due, maintenance amounts are overdue, etc. On formal basis and a regular reiterative basis. Uh, if uh, you, you, you are part of the MC, meet the owners or members or residents who are uh, not in compliance, who are not in violation and try to impress upon them or use seniors or people with uh, respect in the community to impress upon such defaulters. Uh, in case of issues like diseases, like the pigeon, you know, talk to the BBMP health inspector or whichever, whoever is handling health in your area, if it is a panchayat, etc., to, you know, escalate these issues. Wherever things are going beyond hand, please seek legal support. But here is where I want to mention, BAHAP has a partnership with an organization called CAMP, uh, Center for Mediation and uh, uh, and uh, I, I forget the P. Uh, arbitration. Huh? Arbitration, uh, mediation and one more, the P for what I'm forgetting. So you can reach out to them also and seek their guidance support. Uh, they can sit across both parties and amicably resolve they may charge fees uh, uh, 
or they will charge a fees but you can seek their guidance uh apartments uh, registered under koa can go to court of course you know that's not the best place to go go resolve an intra community issue and uh, there is a recent judgment telangana high court saying there is no excuse to paying maintenance everyone is mandated to pay uh, maintenance it is not uh, issued by karnataka high court i must uh, mention but this was a case there and if dues are unreasonably high and not under very high that you know if someone is not paid 10 years 8 years etc uh, and it keeps arguing with you that you know i cannot pay now for 10 years try and seek a discounted settlement with such uh, such defaulters i broadly covered this but a lot of these have to be intra community unless you know you are ready to go outside legal long drawn etc of course mediation is a good uh, approach sajjan ah uh, yes thank you yeah uh prem pillai shobha althia uh prem are you there but i i know ravi was there from shobha electrical and plumbing material procurement as well as automation of uh, water treatment plant and uh, sewage treatment plant our portal our bas connect has app have uh, vendor databases please access and use uh, the vendor mention and in case you have vendor that you are using is not there in the vendor database you are welcome to contribute those vendor names also Jay Shankar, how can BAS help area civic issues if local representatives are not able to help? So BAS is all about that. Your cluster groupings, uh, cluster members, fellow other community leaders, etc., are right in the same WhatsApp group where you are. So each of you know, please collaborate with them, uh, build a rapport with these uh, uh, people, and make sure that. Uh, you discuss issues and get, seek uh, solutions provide solutions also uh, build rap over the local uh, uh, authorities also whether it is water uh, line man or the, uh, the electrical meter reader or the constables who roam around patrol your areas or the assistant engineer assistant executive engineer executive engineer please maintain a rap over uh please participate in the local ward level committee meetings uh, so that you get to know who the relevant staff and officials are and uh, please also have some social interaction for example by inviting them to your ganesha celebration or navratri celebration or whichever celebration the independence to public day it 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 makes them feel good please uh, use this as an opportunity and uh, besides that of course you know you can seek support uh, like i just mentioned to um, vishnu right uh, seek out your cluster leader with in in his case it was raman and deepak and radhika uh, in your case whoever the case may be please see and they can also join hands with you and submit formal complaints on the back letter head your cluster president and cluster secretary jay shankar are you there i don't ask Maybe he's not. <clears throat> Safety and security. There were no questions. Uh, with that, we complete the Q and A. I am not able to ask, uh, you know, respond to the chat uh, because I think we have like a long time we have taken. But you know, a lot of valuable inputs, questions were there, uh, which we hopefully responded. You will soon receive a feedback link. Uh, also, please remember to give the feedback. uh with that let me invite satish or vikram are they there i don't know yeah uh satish and then vikram please yeah yeah i'm there uh, but i think i don't want to talk much anything about it i think it was a good program i think uh, we should continue to do this uh, every month and uh, congratulations arun and uh, other team members and uh, our apartment members please connect to your cluster leaders and cluster members 
and as mentioned by Vikram, we also require volunteers in specifics. So we have five member team. I said uh, verticals. Uh, we are individually working on energy, water, and everything. So anybody specific want to join as a volunteer to uh, work with us and this thing. And we are also looking for some interns uh, from the colleges uh, which we are uh, trying. So if from your community or somebody you want to be become interns from colleges mm -hmm. of engineering, environmental science, or journalism, we would like to take them on board. Uh, this is what I want to tell you now. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Satish. And volunteering also, I'll share a link uh, in case uh, you, some of you want to volunteer. Vikram, may I request you? To no, nothing much. It's a fantastic session. I think I was also extremely delighted with the nature and quality of the question. <laughs> Definitely sort of... Uh, um, uh, delights me. I started by saying that, you know, 75% of the issues are uh, largely connected to our own sense of confidence and clarity on 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 knowledge of technical matters. So I will re-insist that. I, I mean, you have all been part of this call, but please go ahead and uh, send that message that, you know, at least uh, I know there's a great challenge of people joining the management committee cadre, but uh, uh, when you are part of that, please invest some time in, uh, I mean, knowing issues, topics, themes, policies a little better. Because at least in my personal experience, what I've seen and in the experience of BAF, a majority of times agencies and authorities uh, misuse the lack of awareness and uh, edu uh, knowledge uh, unfairly, right? To to pressurize and uh, uh, beat you down to. Uh, aspects, uh, including pushing you towards corrupt practices. Um, most of those issues will get solved if we have a slightly better sense of understanding of the, the theme, topic, the technicalities, some re relative uh, understanding of the rules and policy for that theme, which is what is the effort with these uh, sessions. So as much as possible, make use of that. As uh, as, uh, uh, as Arun and Satish have all indicated, this will be a recurring practice. As much as possible, that knowledge will be brought to you, made it uh, easy to consume. Uh, and in wherever things, uh, it requires a group action, I think we'll definitely um, support and help. So yeah, uh, thanks Arun. I think this and the team for having initiated this. My only request and expectation is that, yeah, please have this as recurring as possible and as uh, often as possible. Yeah, sure. There's so Thank much of so knowledge, much. collective knowledge, which comes uh, anyway. Walli, uh, Walli, ma'am. Walli, ma'am. Uh, yes, yes. Thank you so much for your contribution. Do you want to please say a couple of words, uh, please? Uh, it's already late. Uh, okay. So thank you very much for arranging this. I think uh, it must have uh, been helpful to everyone. We look forward to all your feedback so that we can have a better session with a lot of information for all of you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good evening, night. Thank you, Varun, and the uh, entire BAF team. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks, Arun. Good night. Good night. Thanks, Satish. Also, good night. And Vikram. It was awesome, Maroon. Thank you. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Good night, Arun. Good night, Wally, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you, Arun. It was a wonderful session. Lot of information. Many questions um, were answered, even which we haven't uh, uh, asked. So thank you so much. Great. And I think I'll uh, get in touch with you um, for a few more questions regarding the fire CC uh, renewal. Uh, yeah, thank you. This is the sure, same number, sure. WhatsApp number, right? So yeah. I'll get I was the one who has been in uh, touch, uh, sending the invite. Uh, so, so you can reach out to me. Yes. But uh, it may be overwhelming for me to respond uh, timely, but uh, do reach out. I may yeah. redirect you to the right person. Um, yes. Yeah. First, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. Bye. Bye.